We've got an eye appointment, five dentist appointments. Boogies. Oh, it looks like boogies. I'm insane. Whoa. I'm going to get some gummy. <laughs> Let's hope not. Make an appointment for two of my children. They were originally seen by doctor. I know he's no longer there. Um, but then when COVID and everything came around, I haven't been able to get them set up with a new doctor. Sometime within this month here. Um, afternoon would probably be better. Let's do 2.30. And then I have a couple other appointments I need to make for several of my other children. Well, now that the doctor's open, offices are open and seeing people right now, I've got several kids that I set up appointments for that need to get in. We've got an eye appointment, five dentist appointments, um, and then I have a couple of kids that have warts on their feet. So, and it's one of those things where one kid got it and then I think spread it to another kid. So. They need to get in and have them removed. And I know a lot of things are starting to close back up, so I figured while it's still open, I'm gonna go ahead and get the kids in for what they need to get taken care of, and hopefully it'll still be open by then. We'll see. I didn't even get out of the lines. No? Ah, oop, 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 oop. You love this color of yellow, don't you? There's one marker in there that's like a highlighter and all the kids like it. Doesn't Ireland use them? Mm-hmm. Nice job coloring, Aspen. Okay, I have to tell you, the house smells heavenly today because I splurged <laughs> and got myself the Yankee Candle Wax Melts. And this is probably one of my favorite scents that they have, the Bahama Breeze. And oh, it just smells so good in the house. And it was actually worth it because some of the other wax melts that are a little bit cheaper, they're not as tall. See, these ones, or as like, as big. These ones are a lot bigger that you yeah. get. So to me, it was worth it. I'm wondering if I can use them twice. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Aspen is still working on his beatboxing. <laughs> Doesn't that look not out of the lines when it isn't out of lines? And this one, they look like paint. You did a really good job. It does look like paint. I'm all finished. Yeah. Did you get me a soda? No, no. Soda was free. Okay. After school. <coughs> oh, after school? After school, yeah. So after school done? Okay. So, because I am a Jimmy John's frequent reward member, I got some free stuff here. <laughs> Settle into a dazzling chair and nibble pizza for dinner. It will take effort and a struggle to carry everything home. These guys are doing their Life of Fred. So this is how they do their science and their mathematics. And they work together on it. They're doing um, algebra. Well, it's like pre-algebra for this one. And then physics. And so they're working on the Your Turn to Play area, which we go over a lesson, which is what we did up here. And they learned about different types of friction. They were learning about kinetic friction and static friction. And so I'll write their formulas and stuff like that as we learn through the lesson on here. T was teasing me about my, my drawing here with my guy <laughs> and explaining static and kinetic friction. But this is their physics and algebra lesson that they're working on today. So I just picked up this whiteboard and you guys right now, Walmart has all their back to school stuff. And so they had these dry erase boards for like $8 and it came with the markers and stuff. So I thought that was a super good deal and you can actually hang this one, which I'm going to. I just wanna get some of the Ook hooks that do, um, they do less damage to the walls. So anyway, that is kind of how we do our high school science and mathematics lessons. 
and they'll do the your turn to play and then we'll go over it and correct it and go over anything that um that they've not understood so in their cursive they get to do some artwork and today it told ireland to color the bench that was there and then draw a scene around it so all the rest so of the stuff she added this is the mama bird she's sitting in the tree on the egg so the dad birds get in a worm and taking it to her to eat and then this is a dad bunny and he's taking his baby bunny william to the house that's really cute ria that turned out awesome a bird over a bench it's like a it's a chicken that where the chickens didn't yeah. like the farm and so they made an escape plan and so they escaped and now he's gliding He's gonna <laughs> land soon. Do chickens fly? No, they glide. Okay. <laughs> they Do don't they land fly. With style? They land with to infinity style. and beyond. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we have finished Life of Fred Apples, and we're moving into Butterflies. So this is the second book in the series. So it's our first day doing this, and I think I think the kids are pretty excited. Zane asked if we could do more than one chapter today. We're only doing one now. I was gonna itch my nose with the marker, but I forgot I opened it and now I, I got marker all over Let me my see nose. Your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to itch my nose. Boogies. Oh, it looks like boogies. Insane. Okay, so we're just about finishing up this these guys' at school day and we're gonna do a demonstration on light in the ocean. So we have a water bottle, we filled it half with water and yep. 12 drops of food coloring. You can do 10 to 12 drops blue food coloring since we're representing the ocean. So we're gonna take our bottle and then we're gonna add a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Aspen, go ahead and grab that funnel. Go ahead. <laughs> the funnel you were gonna bring me in. Do you need it? Yeah, I need it. How many have you helped me? What, me? Yep. So I need you to hold it right there. Don't let, hold the bottle with one hand, but don't let go, and then the funnel with the other. Good job, don't push on it, please. Don't push on it. Zane. Just a little. Watch. Zane. Hold on. Just wait, no, no, keep it in there, keep it in there. Don't move yet till I tell you. Don't take it out, please. Just leave it there. Leave it there. I am. That's okay. I'm gonna have you wash your hands in a minute. Wait. Hold on now. Don't no, move it. Don't move it. It's water. Now, I'll take that note. Don't take it out or I'll get all over the table. Go ahead and put that green lid back on the oil. Go wash your hands real quick before we do the experiment. I'm gonna put the lid on. Got our oil cleaned up. If you have We're gonna talk about this. This is what we have, guys. So we've got water and food coloring, and then we poured oil on the other half of it. That is so cool. Oh, there's bubbles. What do you guys see? Bubbles, and it's it's like green. Bubbles. Oh, it's like aqua. No green. So here's what's gonna happen now. All of you stay there. All right, so we've been talking about light and I want you, Ireland, to take it and shake the bottle vigorously. Yeah, nice. And then set it on the table. Okay, go ahead and set it down. Whoa. It turned blue. It's sparkly. I doubt it tastes like water now. <laughs> I want to try it. No, oh no, that's gross. Wait, the oil's separating again. Look. It the what? The oil's separating. Oh, shake it. No, we're Put it back on the table now. Look, it gets darker. Let's just watch it. What happens? So. Wait, it's sparkly. What do you notice about the bottle? Well, first of all, black it's still separating hot. the oil again. It's getting darker towards the bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't shake. Very it. good. It's lighter at the top and gradually gets darker near the bottom, doesn't it? The oil is a different color now. This also happens in the ocean. When sunlight enters the ocean water, the rays of sunlight are reflected 
are refracted or they bend because of the density of the water. This causes the sunlight to slow down and spread apart. There is not as much sunlight as it goes deeper. Water appears blue because it absorbs, absorbs longer wavelengths as found in the colors red, orange, yellow. More than shorter wavelengths giving the light passing through a blue tint. The specific shade can vary depending on depth. Sediments in the water and certain types of algae or plankton, right? Because that's why the Red Sea is red, right? It's popping. Look towards the middle. That's cool, huh? It's very different. It's separating the oil. Whoa! The oil and water together. That's the oil, guys, and that's the water. This is the original water. So, the majority of marine life lives in the upper layers of the ocean, right? We learned about that. Uh huh. They live in this. That's what the ocean actually looks like. That's where the rays of light are brighter. When scientists refer to the different layers of light in the ocean, they identify them as zones. There are three main zones in the ocean, sunlight, twilight, and midnight or dark zones. The dark zone can be divided into two zones, the abyss and the trench zones. Wait, what were they? The abyss and the trench zones. The light blue and the dark blue look like glitter glue. <laughs> yeah, they do. They're like literally. I made a one! You made a one and a three. You did a really good job, Aspen. It's a very it nice one. And a two in the middle. Mom, good job. Again? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Zane's like, I'm getting wait, out of the way. Wait, no, flip it upside down. Oh, yeah. What happened? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Wait, let's flip it again. Wow. Whoa, that's weird. Uh, it got stuck at the bottom. Wait, how's this? It can't get back up. That's weird. Look. Oh, it did. <laughs> it eventually came up, didn't it? A bubble. Mm. Is that cool? Yeah, especially when you flip it. It gets stuck at the bottom. Yeah, it gets stuck. Oh, that's it can't cool. get back up. Oh, no, look. Yeah. What's 12? Two? One, two. One, One two is 12. Nice job. You're getting really, really good at writing your One, numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, is it a three and a four? Or is it a it's three? It's a one and a three. So, like, do I draw one first? Yes. Just like you did for twelve. Nice one. Nice job. I want to draw all the way to 100. Oh yeah, that's a lot of work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 4 and then a 5. Nope, 14. You can draw it like 13. 4. Except with a 4. 4, 1. 1, 4. 1. 4. Nice work on that. Okay. Aspen's really excited, you guys, because this is what? A full carrot. Yeah, it's our first full carrot out of our garden, huh? Let's see how it tastes. You gonna try it? Go ahead. Is it good? It tastes like a way we can. <laughs> Did anybody want the little one? Okay, I'll eat this one then. Right, you guys, have so. We're watching <laughs> animal crackers. We are. And we are finishing our night with a okay. bowl full of candy. We're gonna need to brush our teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna just get some candy. <laughs> Let's hope not.